In this example, we'd like to compute the work done by this vector field, f of xy equals x squared comma xy, um, uh, on a particle which travels once around a circle of radius 2. So here's our path now. Our path is to go once around this circle, and so it doesn't matter where we start on this circle or how we parameterize it, but I'm going to start in the usual spot here on the positive x, what would be the positive x-axis. I haven't labeled anything yet. And I'm going to let this particle travel in the positive direction. That part was told. We were told that, right? In the positive direction, one, one uh, time around the circle. And so our r, our vector function r, this, by the way, is a circle of radius 2, x squared plus y squared equals 2 squared. So this vector function is going to be r of t equals 2 cosine of t, 2 sine of t, and the domain of the t is from 0 to 2 pi. Okay, and we want to compute this. So remember, the work done, we want to compute the work. The work done by a vector field on a particle is given by the path integral of f dot dr. So f itself, we need to get in terms of the parameter. So when I write f dot dr, I actually mean f of r of t dot dr, of course. But in terms of just the f itself, it's f of r of t. And so this is the vector, okay, the vector function, um, whose components are now x squared. So 4 cosine squared t, and then x times y. That's 4 sine t cosine t. So that's our function, our vector field f with our vector function r plugged in. So this is now a parameterized curve itself, right? The vector function f is now a parameterized vector function. Okay, and so what we need to do next is find dr. Well dr is just the differential vector here. So the differentials of these, uh, differential of cosine is negative 2 sine of t dt. And the differential of sine is 2 cosine t dt. And, of course, what we have to do, this dot is not um, just a, uh, a mistake, right? This dot is the dot product. We have to take the dot product of these two equations and then um, integrate that up. So let's, let's work out the dot product here. And I need more room. So... The dot product is going to be given by, so we need to do f dotted with dr, and let's remember what these were. So we had 4 cosine squared t, 4 sine of t, cosine of t, and then dr was the vector function that was negative 2 sine of t, positive 2 cosine of t. There was a dt in each of these. I'm going to factor that dt out. Okay, and then do the dot product here. So we'll have then a differential in terms of dt, um, which will be a function times dt. So as we multiply this out and we see what happens now, we get negative 8 cosine squared t times sine of t plus 8 sine of t cosine squared t all times dt. But look at this. This integrand is a difference of two things that are equal. So this is just 0. So 0 dt. And if the this is this is the differential of the force, right? The tiny change in force. And so what that tells us then is that um, the net work done by this vector field on the particle moving around this path is equal to the integral from 0 to 2 pi once around Right? But it actually doesn't matter because what do we have to integrate? 0 dt, and the integral of 0 dt is just 0. So no work. No work is done by this force field on um, this particle as it moves around the circle. Okay.